back with another one. You know, I think we on episode 17, I believe. Hey, I want to put myself too above the clouds. You know I mean, I might be tripping. Hey, I want to say, <coughs> God bless to everybody. Thank you to all my new friends. You know what I'm saying? On Facebook and everything. My virtual friends, however you want to call it. You know, I'm um, very excited and very glad you have accepted me. You know, I hope you read my introduction and took time. If you did take that time out today, whether you did or not, you know, I mean, it's, you're still a blessing and you're still love. And I'm still going to treat you with love and respect how I do everybody else, you know. So I want to say thank you. You know, that was a little bit of uh, my life or how I am and where I'm at in life. You know, I'm changing and, uh, you know, new blessings are coming to me. You feel me? I love I love the Father. His name is Jehovah. That's the best thing I could have gave you guys. You feel me? Because for so long that we lived on this earth, we know God, but God is only a title. You feel me? Lord is only a title. And we know religion is made by man. I am no part of religion. You feel me? Just because I use Jehovah, his, his actual name, that does not mean I'm associated with Jehovah's Witnesses. Yes, I have learned from Jehovah's Witnesses. You understand? And I believe everything they say because they actually restored the Bible to how it is before, you feel me, from the original text. They restored it and put the Lord in God's name back in place. When the Lord or God said, do not remove anything from this Bible, but the modern day churches did. And I'm not trying to knock any modern day religion, you know, Catholics and all them, but just know the corrupt and mistakes, you feel me, of these religions of what they did. They took God's name out the Bible when God specifically told us he wants, he revealed himself to us to use his name. So that case, wants us to use it that is his true name now i gotta say in a world ran by satan why would you think otherwise that he would he would want god's true name standing today he doesn't then that's the main reason they removed that name seven thousand times that's pure hatred that is nothing but influence of Satan, the devil. Because if he's running this world, why would he want God's name to stand? And why would he want you, the man in the creation of God, to know your father's name? See, that's the mistake that we make today, people. You know, we, we have sin and sometimes we don't acknowledge our sin as far as cleaning it up and wanting to do better. We love our sin. You feel what I'm saying? We love what we do in darkness. You feel me? Let's all be real. So, uh, I just want to say, you know, that that's his name. I gave you that. You could do whatever you want with it. You know, whether you believe it or not, just, just know I told you. Because in these last days, he said he will be known. And his name will be known before the coming of the end. Before the coming of Christ, his son. You know? So, I want to say that. Um... You know, I, I'm, I'm going to work right now. I'm on my way to work. You know, uh, I, I don't know what else to say. You know, I, I can't wait to meet some of you guys and learn about some of you guys and read you guys' posts. You know, you guys are all special and you guys all play a part. You know, there is no man above another. You know, no matter what we do, there's no sin greater than um, the other sin. And that's the truth. So I cannot knock you people, you know, even though I still have to expose Satan for what he does. And I have to tell the truth about myself also. You know, I'm not perfect, man. I'm really not. You know, and recovery is, is a, a process. You understand? So I, I had to pour it out and lay it all on the line for you guys to know who I actually am. For you to know who your teacher is, if that makes sense. You know, if you want to learn from my teachings, I try to put God out there as much as possible because he is your source you know he knows you better than you know yourself so who other to go to not to yourself but to the source that created you that gives you energy the provider that's what he is he's a provider so I want to say you know that's that's him that's he's love 
So when you're dealing with love, you have to humble your heart. See, a lot of times we are so quick to blame other people, to, you know, um, act out of aggression, you know, act out of emotion, you know, but it's simply, Jehovah simply told us to be humble at heart. And sometimes that we, we fall short of doing that. See, some people think that aggression and wanting to fight somebody and, you know, being all tough, macho man is, uh, is actually power and strength. It's not, it's weakness. If you act out of emotion, that is weakness. Okay. That is a weakness. So I want to say humbleness. It is hard to hold those emotions back. It's hard. You understand? It's hard to do that. And that is strength. That is true strength. That's why he said humbility. If you act out of aggression, you are acting out of the power of Satan, which is hate. You are acting out of hate. That's not love. You understand? So you have to be humble at heart to receive and for Jehovah God, your father, to speak to you. For him to speak to you. Because how can he speak to an aggressive, you know, um, you know, struggling heart that's like angry? How could he speak to an angry heart? He can't. He can't do it, people. It's why we have to be humble and love one. Don't go knock the addict on the street. Don't go knock the homeless man on the street. You feel what I'm saying? Be humble at heart. And that's what we have to do no matter what we face it. No matter what. That's what any challenge in life, we have to be humble. It takes time. And patience is a virtue also. You know, so... Yeah, uh... I hope you all have a have a good day. You know, inbox me if there's anything, you know. I hope people would show their love to me too. I would appreciate that. I need love too, people. You feel what I'm saying? I know a lot of people probably look past me and probably think I'm a know-it-all. I'm not, you know. I, I just don't do it for me. I do it for Jehovah because I'm a struggling man and I hope to change somebody else's life. I hope to be an example. You know, I want to be an example. I come from a lot, man. You know, and I lay it all down on the line. There's nothing to hide from me. You feel me? Like, we all make mistakes. We all <laughs> we all have uh, secrets and, and skeletons in our closet. But, hey, you feel what I'm saying? Hey, I can't knock you like you can't knock me. So, in exchange, it is even. And we come together in the faith of the Lord, Jehovah God. You know, we stay prayed up because that's the only reason why I'm still here, man. I probably should have been going a long time ago, people. I'm not going to lie to you. But, you know, I just want to say peace, love, and positivity. That's the brand. You know, we working. Uh, shots to the, the loved ones. You know, we, never be mad. at stay mad at somebody because every day is a new day. You feel me? And every day is a new understanding. You not thinking how you thought yesterday. So I have to look at you differently today. That's that's what I have to do. And this is why Jehovah forgives. Because you are growing every single day. Even when you are a fully mature male or female, you are still growing in knowledge. You understand? You are growing in knowledge and still learning. There are many pe older people who tell me I can't teach them nothing. But I prove them wrong and I teach them something every single day. So don't think just because you're older or younger, you can't learn from each other, an older one or a younger one. It shouldn't be like that, you know. And you have to talk to people accordingly to the situation and how that person is an act of, you know, themselves and how they carry themselves. You have to speak to some people kindly. You know, you don't always got to be straight. You know, some people always come off as street. That's corrupt. You don't have to be a gangster. You don't have to be a thug. That's corrupt. Okay? That's all I'm saying. You know, I, I stand for justice. So I stand for justice. I love God and I love you guys. I always want to say peace, love, positivity. Everybody have a great day. Allah.